Good morning, you guys. It's about uh, 8.30 in the morning, and I just wanted to give you guys my review of uh, Beauty and the Beast from 2017, which is last year. Um, my review is I absolutely loved it. It was fantastic. It was amazing. It's one of the best movies I've seen in a while. I, I know I said that about the last two movies, but I'm just a huge movie lover. And... Um, why did I like it? Um, it didn't stray too far from the 1991 animated version, which is my generation. I'm 35 years old. Um, and it was pretty freaking amazing because the CG effects were spectacular. I like how they, you know, made the Beast look in, in the live action one. I also like the candelabra and uh, I like the, um, the clock, well, cog, played by one of my favorite um, actors, Sir Ian McKellen. Uh, Sir Ian McKellen, excuse me. I keep getting these notifications up at the top of my iPad and on my cell phone, and it's a little bit distracting. Um, so, the casting was fantastic. Um, they did an amazing job in bringing the animated characters to life. And I also like this one because I got to sing along with a lot of the songs that I that um, were familiar for me uh, to me from the 1991 version. And the reason why I waited so long to see this one is because I absolutely do not like remakes. I don't like reboots. I think they're useless and pretty much boring. I think they're trying to recreate something that was already fantastic. When actually, if you think about it, um, they're not trying to recreate something. They're trying to update it to the next generation, which I didn't really understand before. But I think that this version of Beauty and the Beast definitely you know, hit that you know, nail on the head. They, made, they did an awesome job with this version. And the reason why I'm excited about, about the 2017 version is because um, while well, I'm single and I have no children right now, so my future children, they'll get to have their own version of Beauty and the Beast and they'll enjoy it just the same as I enjoyed the 1991 version, my version, or my generation's version, excuse me. And the reason why I call the 1991 um, animated one a version is because it's not the original. Beauty and the Beast is actually based on a kind of a sort of a true story. But I'm not going to go into that because that's going to make this video way, way too long. And I don't feel like going into that anyway. i got to get ready for work. I'm actually wearing my Walmart uniform. But just uh, to wrap this up, I absolutely loved this Beauty and the Beast. Uh, that did an amazing job in bringing the... Um, characters to life from the 1991 version. I'm really, really excited to see what else Disney has in store. Hopefully they bring back a whole bunch of my um, favorites. Like, I want to see a live version of uh, my favorite Disney classic, Lady and the Tramp. Um, so thank you very much for uh, being patient with my, you know, fidgeting a lot and being patient in listening to me talking about Beauty and the Beast. Um, go out and see it. I think it's amazing. It's fantastic. All the characters, you know, were great. And I don't think I can trump up this movie or, or um, make this movie any... Sorry, I'm still getting notifications. <laughs> I don't think I can build this movie up any more than I've already built it up. Um, and for those of you who did not enjoy the movie, uh, just remember that we have our own version. And it's from about 25 years ago. So this one doesn't belong to us. It belongs to this generation. So, and I think what we got from 1991 was perfect, and it's ours. We get to keep that one. We, we get to let this one go. I'm not going to let it go because I think it's freaking amazing, but you can let it go because um, we have our own. All right, and, and I hope in about 25, 30 more years, we get another version, and I'll take my grandkids to see that version one day, hopefully when I have kids. If I have kids, I will have kids. But anyway, you guys enjoy your day. I'm going to get ready for work. I'm going to eat my Wheaties and take my iron pill. So you guys have a great day. Um, and please don't mind my poodle hair. I just got out of the shower. All right, so peace out and namaste. Subscribe.